Um, yeah, like I said uh, earlier in the introductions, um, I'm Peter Hessler, and I'm using uh, VMM as the uh, host virtualization system for the NASA run since I run, the ACL network. Uh, last time I checked, we were at uh, 1,200 users, uh, about 400 active weekly users. Um, I believe the uh, average daily usage of HP is about one megabit uh, constantly. Um, so it's quite a bit of traffic. Um, essentially, it's broken up into three guests. Uh, you have the web front end is one of the guests. You have the worker, uh, the worker processes, and the um, and the uh, image and media storage is another guest. And then the last guest is just databases. Um, you can use Redis for stupid stuff because people like doing stupid things with Redis. And then Postgres for the actual real storage. Um, they're just hooked up. They're all running on the same uh, the same host. Uh, they just have a couple of IPs assigned to them. We all have front side, which is uh, going out to the internet, and then there's a back side inter interface uh, for the inter VM communication. Uh, the biggest problem right now is SMP and SYNC problem. Um, the network is the network I/O is, is not a problem. Disk I/O is it's okay. It could be better. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the biggest problem I have is SMP, and because the Mastodon that I'm using is written in it's written in, in Ruby. And it uses a uh, sidekick to process all of the, the queues and all the stuff, and those are complete pigs when it comes to CPU. And they love spinning up thousands and thousands of processes to do useless things. Like, for example, when somebody uploads an image, uh, it gets there. It goes into the web process, so nginx. That Nginx does its thing with the image. It then sends it to Ruby. Ruby forks file, then it forks convert, and then it forks the process to save to the back end storage. And only at that point does it then give a URL to the client to say, This is the image that you've uploaded. Now you're allowed to connect it to the, the draft that you're about to post. And it has to do all this within the time of the HTTP timeout. <laughs> and uh, until we got to about 500 users, or maybe 700 users, um, everything was in a single guest. And that was really tight on CPU. And that was the point where I turned off registrations for about three months. Um, yeah, other than that, it's just running. It's I have things balanced enough where it's reason reasonable performance, um, but not requiring too many not requiring too many resources. Um, does anyone have any questions? I think right now the host is six four stable, and I want to upgrade it to current snaps soon. But that requires that'll require about eight hours of work because of updating this requires updating that requires updating this requires updating that. And just, I have to shave the eyes off of it. Uh, we have backups. Uh, the upgrade's not going. I'm not worried at all about the OpenBSD side of this. It's Macedon is quirky, and uh, it is it is quite painful to deal with the software because the Ruby ecosystem is the Ruby ecosystem. I'll just leave it at that. Yes. And no, I'm not going to use Promora. I'm not switching to that.
Thank you. Thank you.